John Garlock. Kim Reynolds was in Mount Pleasant today, but she wasn't at the mental health institute that's closing. We wanted to know why, so we sent KTVA's Matt Vilke to ask her. He joins us live now. Matt. Yeah, John, Lieutenant Governor Reynolds' visit to Mount Pleasant was part of her 99-county tour. That's something she does every year since she's been in office. And while in Henry County this afternoon, she toured Hearth and Home Technology, a company that specializes in manufacturing fireplaces and similar home products. But she did not visit Mount Pleasant's Mental Health Institute, despite an invitation from State Senator Rich Taylor. The Branstead Reynolds administration is seeking to close that facility. The lieutenant governor says her trip to Mount Pleasant was planned months in advance and didn't allow time to visit the facility. My timing just didn't allow me to not uh, stop here and go over there. But, you know, we're working with, uh, we're, we want to make sure that we provide quality care for Iowans in need, and we need to deliver it in a modernized method. Representative Dave Heaton of Mount Pleasant is reportedly working on a compromise with the governor's office to try and keep the mental health facility open until at least mid-December and hopes that a private company would then take over services. John.